Hey folks, Jamie Caldwell here. It was a subscriber on my Facebook page that had asked a question, reference becoming a better deep structure fisherman. Uh, what I'd like to do is take a minute to kind of talk to you about some of the things that I think are important to me uh, when fishing deep structure. And one of them obviously is your electronics. Uh, the better understanding you have of your electronics, then the easier it is to read the deep structure and then in turn fish it and know what you're fishing. Uh, good rule of thumb, and it depends on the transducer and the frequency, but just a general rule of thumb is to take your depth and divide it by three. Uh, what that is, is that's going to show you what you're looking at on your screen. And right now we're just talking regular 2D sonar, we're not talking side imaging, just regular 2D down sonar. So if you take your depth, divide it by three, and for ease of purpose we're just going to use 21 foot. So we're going to graph something that is in 21 foot of depth. Divide that by three, and what you're actually looking at on your screen is a seven-foot section of the bottom. Now, why is that important? Well, you want to cover that structure in detail. You want to make multiple passes over that structure and see all of it. So in this example here, we're going to use a point. Uh, so if my boat here, uh, and pardon my drawings, I am by no means an artist, um, my boat is sitting in 21 foot of water, my sonar is looking down, and what I'm seeing on the screen is only 7 foot section of that bottom, a 7 foot width. So when I want to graph this point right here, it becomes important because as I make my first pass over this piece of structure and the boat moves over this area, I'm only seeing essentially 3.5 feet off either side of the boat. So this span of seven foot is what I just graphed. So now in my mind, I'm drawing a mental image of this uh, point here and what I just graphed. Now I see it starts to rise, it starts to come up, and obviously you're gonna see um, your, your depth is gonna change, so the area you're seeing is gonna shrink, just kinda keep that in mind. But as we make multiple passes, now we turn the boat, basically we wanna turn the boat so that we're overlapping these areas or just touching on them so we're not missing anything. You know, a lot of times you hear anglers talk about the spot on a spot. You know, anybody can read a map, anybody can look at this stuff and see, oh, hey, this is a point or this is a ledge or, you know, there's a, you know, there's something here, road junction, that's what I want to look at. Well, you need to find, because everybody can do that, to be a better angler, you really need to find that spot on a spot. So on that point, you need to find the key area. And by making multiple passes and not overlooking anything, understanding your electronics, what you're actually seeing on your electronics, you won't miss anything. So I continue to make my S turns over this structure, ensuring that I'm not missing anything. So when I do come by this piece of structure, say right here, somebody, you know, drops some rocks or there's an old, sh you know, there's a shell bed or something right there. Now I pick up and I see those arcs and I see that shell bed where if I was to just crazily make these turns and not understand exactly what I'm seeing in the, the, amount of uh, bottom that I am seeing, I may miss that. And now, you know, you may fish this point or you may not fish this point because you didn't see anything. And, you know, up in this corner right here is where these fish were stacked up. So, you know, basically what I'm saying is understand, you know, a general rule, divide by three um, is pretty basic. Uh, you know, I, years ago, I used to keep a little cheat sheet on my on my console that broke it down and I just put some general depths on there and already have the math done so as I was graphing these certain areas I could just look and, and I knew how tight to make my corners um, and again this is just for 2D sonar so continue to, to graph your areas whether it's a point whether it's that's a ledge a hump a roadbed whatever it may be make those S turns understand what you're seeing look at everything and for me you know usually when I'm fishing deep structure I don't fish unless I see the fish. So I may spend 30 minutes graphing something and then leave it. And, you know, now I know what it looks like so I can come back to it and just either fish it or, you know, re-graph that certain area, that spot on the spot um, versus having to redo the whole thing. But now I know what it was that I saw. I have a mental image or I make notes uh, on what I did see. And now you can be more productive. Hope this helps. And uh, again, if anybody has any other questions on any certain things, electronics, fishing, whatever, uh, hit me up, Jamie Caldwell, Professional Angler, on my Facebook page and drop me a question and uh, I'll do what I can to answer it.